I've been visiting Starship because I have a heart condition. We delivered at Auckland Hospital and on day three of Ellie's life, um, they heard a murmur. So that gave us our first inkling that something wasn't quite right. Ellie was falling into that category of um, failure to thrive. It was a very little baby to start off with and um, wasn't putting on any weight and we had a very determined midwife send us off to our local hospital. From there it all got very serious, very quick. The incidence of tetralogy of fallow is around about 3 in 10,000, so that equates to approximately 15 to 20 babies diagnosed in New Zealand each year. We basically have a population to sustain one major cardiac centre and that's here at Starship in Auckland. And those babies who need specialist cardiac care and specialist cardiac surgery all need to come to Starship in Auckland. It's a lot to deal with when your child's unexpectedly diagnosed with a heart condition. Um, there's sort of not a lot of room to get used to the idea. It's, it's right, it's here now and you're dealing with it. Leith still had to manage work and another child and, um, and yeah, it was, it was a really um, busy, emotional, intense time. Of the population of children with tetralogy of fallow, it's only a very small proportion who actually require any cardiac intervention in the first 30 days of life. The idea for the research is to identify potential factors in the group who required early intervention and compare them with those who had a more routine course and required surgery at six months of age. So hopefully we'll be able to make sure that only those who absolutely need to be here, are here, and otherwise they're in their local area with their support network around them. I think what the ideal is here, that um, before your baby's born, if you had a chance to sit down and look at the, the possible steps, it would make life a lot easier rather than finding out an emergency situation, put it that way. Thank you for recognising the importance of child health research and for believing in clinicians like myself. Thank you for supporting Starship and helping kids like us.